when 9-11 happened, was sitting in class watching this unbelievable thing, it really sort of shook me right into reality that this world is very different from the way I had imagined it growing up. And it, it gave me, I guess, a sense of, of purpose to sort of, to do something. And I didn't, I didn't know what it was, I guess, at the time, uh, what I was going to do. I was 16. And then a year later, after, after thinking about it, it, it led me to join the Army. We were a bunch of kids over there. And to be ripped apart from our families, basically, and thrown into this desert where you know, you never know what's going to happen. It really woke a lot of us up and, and turned us into like, men, I guess. And everything from an IED on the side of the road to mortars to uh, small arms fire, you never knew what was going to happen. And it was a constant struggle to stay vigilant and to try not to think about it. There's a lot of small little moments that you really hang on to because you need them. You need them to get by. You need that, that hope that you're doing something good. And one of those times that we were stopped on a convoy and there were all these kids around our Humvee and our commander told us not to let them near us and he was on the convoy and all they wanted was water. So we uh, started handing them water and one of them held up this little thing and it was this fuzzy little rabbit's foot and it was designed as something, it had little eyes with, made out of beads and stuff and I didn't know what it was and I, I asked him, you know, what is that? And he said, bazuna. And I'm like, what is a bazuna? And he said, uh, you know, like meow, meow, a bazuna. And I, <laughs> like a cat? And he said, uh, yeah, yeah, in Arabic, bazuna. I said, well, in English, it's a, it's a cat. And it, that was really just a, a, a special moment for me. I think the, the media, they, they tell the half of the story that will sell a newspaper or a, or a news clip. And what they show about the Iraq war is not false. And one of the most difficult things for me when I came home was turning on the news and seeing what I went through being, being sold as entertainment. And part of the reason I wrote the book is to get the message out there that this isn't everything that's, that's going on. And I felt that more people needed to know that.